it's, it just works like that. So I'm glad he's here so that when y'all get mad and try to take it back, you know, and then he had to take my license and all of that, you know, at least he'll know what the truth was. Amen, somebody. Because he's here. Now, but last night I began to go home and I began to pray. And I began to ask God. I said, God, what happened with Peter Rock? What happened? I, 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 I have had a rough time in speaking here before. I, it's, it's, that's, that doesn't throw me. But by the time I get, uh, get ready to stand up here, because of the anointing in the house, it doesn't matter how I feel physically. But that didn't happen last night. And it was a struggle. It was a fight. And I got really concerned. I said, God, what has happened with the atmosphere? And the Lord spoke to me. He said, you tell them to become refocused on me. Y'all so focused on who going to be the pastor, amen, somebody, that you've taken your focus off of your relationship with God. Do you all not know when you get through whoever is put here, you still have to keep your salvation together. Come on, somebody. Ain't no sense of y'all drying up on me. It's the truth anyhow. I'm going to go on into the other part of the message, but I was instructed to say this tonight. Because, see, when you do it like that, you open up the church for the enemy to really come in. Yeah. See, see what, 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 the one thing about the enemy, don't think the devil is not taking note of Peter Rock. Amen. Come on. And see, when, when the church is in a stage like that, he'll start sending in folk who are looking for an opportunity. Now, I may not get no amens, but, you know, I was looking at somebody last night. Bless their little hearts. They came and gave me a long prophecy. Amen. And I was getting ready to tell them, you know, son, you need to be saved. But the Lord said, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. See, you have to watch. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. That's going to be more and more. When you look up, folk going to come in. Yeah, the Lord sent me in here. But like I said last night, it's something about when the presence of the Lord is here, that when something is wrong, it exposes it. Oh, come on, somebody. And that's where God is saying that the atmosphere has to get back to. Do what you've been called to do. Come on. Don't worry about who's going to be where. Because as God gave me this message for tonight, things get ready to get shaken up around here anyway. Come on, somebody. And it's not going to be the working of a man. It's going to be the working of God. We're getting ready to deal with the anointing on tonight. I'll give you the title. I'm getting ready to deal with the anointing. And what God is getting ready to do, and let me tell you something, uh, Peter Rock, some of y'all are very, very self-righteous. Come on now, come on, come on. You're very, very self-righteous. And you have in your mind the way that God shall have set up his church. But God is going to get ready to anoint the folk you don't like. He's getting ready to anoint the people that you didn't think he ever would anoint. Yo, hello, Holy Ghost. I know what I'm saying. It's not going to be business as usual. This church has to be ran by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, come on, somebody. And too many, too many of you are, too many of you are. And I said it last night, I touched on it. Too many of y'all are saying that you have the Holy Ghost, but you mean. You're cantankerous. Y'all, that's, that's not the way the Holy Ghost works. You know, you, do you not know the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, you know, maybe y'all never been here. I know y'all y'all wait up there, but I'm, I'm striving. And you know, sometimes people just get on my nerves. I say, I'm always real. And I be getting ready to tell them something, Sister Gardner. Because I be like, I'm sick of this. I ain't got to keep taking this. And be ready to tell them. And the Holy Ghost will put a lock on your mouth. Anyway, maybe that don't happen to y'all. I, You know, I, I, you know, you know. Uh -huh. Maybe he don't do you like that. See, that's why I have a problem when people can just tell folk off. Ooh, I'm messing up already. That's all right. Because that is, not, that is not an attribute of the Holy Ghost. 
It's not. It's not. And then we've got people who are saying that they have the Holy Ghost and have no power. Uh, let, me, let me get my scripture so I can hear them get through. In the book of Isaiah, 10th chapter, 27th verse. Now, I know how we usually use this, but listen to this a minute. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Now, let me tell you something about the anointing first. The anointing means to be authorized. It's to be set apart for a particular work or service. The anointed person belonged to God. And that's what we got to remember. You didn't anoint yourself. But the anointing comes from God. And many times in the Old Testament, you would hear them say, the Lord's anointed. You would hear God's anointed, my anointed. He did that in the Old Testament. But if you look in the New Testament, somebody give for me 2 Corinthians real quick. 2 Corinthians, the first chapter, and just the 21st verse. And if you have it, I want you to read it for me. 2 Corinthians, first chapter, 21st verse. Anybody has it, have it? Uh-huh. Is who? God. It's God. It's God. It's he who has anointed us. Paul was letting him know. It's God. We didn't anoint ourselves. You know what? Keep reading that. Uh-huh. Now, wait a minute. Not only was he anointed, but they were sealed. Come on, somebody. With the anointing of God, with the Holy Ghost, comes a sealing, which a lot of people don't deal with. You are sealed by the anointing, by the power of God. Go ahead. Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh, stop right there. Stop right there. Now, in all of this anointing, he still recognized, I don't have dominion over the way you believe. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. There's a lot of people in church that try to make people believe like they believe. Oh, God, help me, Holy Ghost. No, you, you've got to stay in your calling. The anointing goes so far, but he still recognized, I cannot, I don't, I cannot make you believe. You can bring the word to people, but it's up to people to have faith in God. Come on. And when people don't believe like everybody else, we want to ostracize them. Sometimes their faith have not gotten to the area of where yours is. Lord, help me here. He said, I don't have dominion over your faith. Go ahead. He's helpers of the joy. I came to provoke you to good works, but I don't have dominion. Lord, help me here. I hear that tonight. I don't have dominion. Go ahead. Go ahead. For by faith, it's your faith that help you to stand. See, a lot of times we put all this confidence in man. Lord, help me here. I'm not, I'm not going against leadership or nothing like that. But sometimes we put too much confidence in man. But it's your faith that's going to help you to stand. You know, it, it was a tragedy. It was a tragedy in the death of Pastor Lane. That was a tragedy. But you know what? He still won't want to come back here. That's the first thing. And the second thing, he's counting on that he taught you all, you all enough that you can stand on the faith that you have. Oh, come on, somebody. See, see, I'm a firm believer. I've made up in my mind, I don't care who backslide. That does not make me want to backslide. Oh, God, help me here. So, so we are anointed by God. And I'm saying that because when God anoint you all, 
And if some of you are, I promise you, he's going to anoint. But remember, you don't have dominion. Ooh, God help me here. See, if people would understand, people would understand and stay in their lane, so to speak. You know, the church really could work much better. But we get, isn't it ironic? We seem to never want to do what God places us to do. We always looking at somebody over on the side of, you know what? See, I could do that better. But have you ever thought that promotion don't come from the north, south, east, or west, but promotion come from God? Have you ever thought that God didn't put you there? Come on. Come on, somebody. Look, y'all might as well say it. It's the truth anyhow. So God is the one who has to run the church by his spirit. 